All right, next game, we got the Washington football team at the New York Giants. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, this one, uh, the Giants are favored. It's crazy to even say that, but the Giants are favored by three over under 43. Um, and since that's a little low there, uh, and I think defense, I, I think you could bet the over there. I think it'll be mid to high 40s, this this point total. I hope it's not, I hope they're both bad enough that they'll at least score enough points to to beat 43 here. So that's what I'm going with. But, uh, you know, what do I know? Uh, they could always surprise me and play worse. So don't. You know, but I would hope and say uh, the over should be easily completed there. And, uh, yeah, the Giants are favored, I mean, because last week, you know, they put on a show against the Cowboys. They battled them to the very end. The Cowboys needed a, a field goal to win, and the Giants almost easily could have won that game. Uh, and, yeah, I know the Cowboys' defense is terrible, but we, at least we still saw some life from Danny Dimes. We saw that Devontae Freeman could be a number one running back in the NFL again. Uh, we saw Darius Slayton could be a number one receiver again. Uh, it just saw, we still didn't see much from Evan Ingram. You're killing me, Evan. You're killing me, buddy. Like, I gotta start benching you. I thought you were a number one receiver. I gotta start benching you. I mean, I, I gotta. I'm putting you down, buddy. Putting you down. You haven't cut, you got those 9.5s. You can't just pass in the 10. Like, it's, it's. I got to put you down, buddy. Got to sit you. But uh, you saw life in, in, the, in, the, in the Giants offense, you know. So you saw that spark that got Danny Dimes his nickname uh, last game. So, you know, I predicted that Devin, Devontae Freeman would have that, that big burst out week this week. I said it. I said it. It was against the Cowboys defense once again. But still, I said it. So I think uh, this week again, Devontae Freeman, he's probably still cheap on Daily Fantasy. Pick him up. Definitely start Devontae Freeman again if he is cheap. I think you'll get another week here at least where he's, he's flirting with 20 easily. So, uh, yeah, start Devontae Freeman if you can. I mean, he's got to still be cheap. He only had one week of huge production. So, yeah, that'll be a great value pick, I think, against the Washington D which is better against the pass than the run. I think uh, you'll get Devontae Freeman having a big game here. Uh, and honestly, I, I'm going to pick that the Giants win in cover here uh, just because they're a more complete football team right now. Um, you know, uh, Danny Dimes does have a, a relationship with Darius Slayton, and once they get going, Slayton's big enough. He can score touchdowns at will once they get in the red zone. So, I mean, I like that. I like that connection. That's why I've, I've held on to Darius Slayton through all the early bad weeks on my bench. And now I might be confident starting him this week. So I would, I would once again, I'd get Darius Slayton probably pretty cheap. Start him up in, the, in your lineup. Um, you know, it's, it's too risky maybe with Golden Tate. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a little on the risky side. And I don't know if if Sterling comes back from injury, will he be quite up to 100%? I don't know. But Darius Slayton, I think, will be another, you know, basically because he's the only trusted option, I think, that Danny Dimes truly trusts with all his heart right now. So I think Darius Slayton has a big game, so get Darius Slayton if you can. That'll be a great value pick because he's probably fairly cheaper than the top tier. So you can pick up Darius Slayton for the, the Redskins. I mean... Uh, who do you, what do you say? Uh, uh, you say Antonio Gibson is pretty much it. Terry McLaurin also. But even with, with Josh Allen throwing him the ball now, I think, I think that took a hit because I think at least Dwayne Haskins and McLaurin had been playing together for almost two years and had a relationship and knew each other really well. Terry McLaurin doesn't know Josh Allen as well. He's now getting to know him. Josh Allen was, was with the second strings. Terry McLaurin's the first string, so... Uh, I think that's that hurts Terry McLaurin's stock a little bit. But if you have him in season long, you're obviously still starting Terry McLaurin. You're not going to bench him ever, but he's the only receiving option on Washington. He's going to score points. It, just out of pure process of elimination, he has to score some points. So 
Uh, yeah, in season long, I'm starting Terry McLaurin and daily. I don't know, you know, I would, I would maybe wait for another big performance with Josh Allen. But hey, maybe you could roll the dice. I'm sure it's Terry McLaurin. He is going to score over 10, pretty much guaranteed. And Antonio Gibson is finally here. I said it. I picked him in my daily fantasy. I said to pick him, and he showed me, proved me right. He showed me that. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I happen to be right. I knew Antonio Gibson was it was too talented. They liked him a lot, and it was for a reason, and he finally started showing that. In the previous weeks going up, he was scoring. He was showing his he could be given the ball in the red zone and, uh, you know, and still catch the ball, and he's the Swiss Army knife, I believe they called him. Uh, so he's, he's here to stay now. He officially arrived last week, and that will continue definitely pick up Antonio Gibson in Daily Fantasy because I think for one more week he's going to be cheap and it'll only probably be one more week like he'll have another big performance this week against the Giants run defense is much worse than the Giants pass defense so uh yeah de definitely go Antonio Gibson that might be my value pick of the week because one more week he's going to be cheap He's going to have a huge performance here against the Giants, and they're going to boost that price next week. So, yeah, get him now for this one last big performance while he's cheap. Uh, Antonio Gibson, definitely pick him up in daily. Uh, besides that, on the Redskins, that's pretty much it. Antonio Gibson and Terry McLaurin. You know, you're not even, I don't even know if you play Josh Allen as your replacement if you need a quarterback. If you absolutely have to, but. Uh, he rushed for a touchdown last week, I know, but I'd pick Danny Dimes in front of him. That's why I picked the Giants to win. I just think Danny Dimes and the Giants are a little more, at least, uh, like a little more. I'm not saying much. They're a little more of a complete football team. Sorry, that made me jump. They're a little more of a complete football team, enough to beat the Washington football team, let's say that. So I got Danny Dimes. Devontae Freeman has a big performance. Helps him out a ton. And uh, Darius Slayton again. And sit Evan Ingram. I don't know. I'm sitting him in season long. So certainly not playing him in daily. But forget Evan Ingram. Maybe once we forget about him, he'll start to play good. And then we can start him again. Because I'm not going to drop him yet. Not dropping Evan Ingram yet. But I'm sitting him. So, But the Giants win and cover here. I think uh, they're just barely better. So they will win by three or more. Probably three or six or seven at the moment. I mean, it's going to be a close game. It's going to be, you know, your kind of ugly game. Not going to be your most viewed game of the weekend, but the Giants will uh, still sneak this one out and they will win and cover. And uh, yeah, bet the over.